There are six words almost every Madden player loved hearing, and it wasn't Michael Vick just scored another touchdown. EA Sports. It's in the game. Of course, the Madden franchise has a long history of taking features out that once upon a time were in the game. Actual assistant coaches, create a team, a playable knockoff senior bowl, playable NFL combine workout, superstar mode, custom signs, and the list goes on and on. But certain aspects of the Madden experience have remained the same over the years. Each team still fields 11 players, and all 32 teams have their current uniforms, along with some throwbacks. If you're playing Madden 23 and you want to dress the Denver Broncos in their AFL throwbacks and have them play the New York Giants in their red jerseys, the ones they haven't worn since 2007, feel free. So one would naturally think then that it'd be pretty hard to get a team's uniforms completely and utterly wrong. Well, the 2012 Chicago Bears likely have something to say there. 2012's Madden 13 was a preventable letdown. Fans strongly disliked the controversial decision, and that's putting it nicely, to replace the franchise and superstar modes with connected careers, a one-stop shop. And although the new physics engine did replace the same tired animations of years past, it also still failed to replicate simulation football. So for added context, Madden 13's PS3 score sits at 5.5 on Metacritic which was slightly down from 2011's Madden 12, which had a 5.7. And in something that is honestly pretty sad to think about, the PS5 score for Madden NFL 23 sits at an ugly 1.4. It's hard to believe Madden 13, for all of its flaws, might have actually marked better times for John Madden's once proud franchise. Now granted, all three of the scores we just gave are the user scores, not the critic scores. So do with that what you will. Anyway, when Bears fans first launched the game and went to play with Jay Cutler and Matt Forte, they likely noticed something different and wrong in the uniform screen. The Bears road uniform featured the blue helmet and the white jersey as expected, but the navy pants were missing. Instead, Chicago's road uniform featured bright orange pants. Since when did Derek Dooley join the Bears? At the time, people were perplexed. Had EA Sports accidentally leaked an alternate set of pants for the Bears? Remember, 2012 was the first season that Nike began designing the NFL uniforms after taking over from Reebok. The Seattle Seahawks overhauled their uniforms for the 2012 season, and the Miami Dolphins did the same a year later. Were the Bears planning on doing something similar? Nope, apparently not, because the Bears never wore orange pants in 2012, or in 2013, or, well, ever. Even in 2022, Justin Fields rocks the navy pants when he's paired with a white jersey. So what went wrong? Well, we're honestly not sure. As far as we can tell, EA Sports never really acknowledged it, and there was no patch correcting the pants. But what's even more perplexing is EA Sports omitted both the navy road pants and the white jersey white pants combo they'd worn in recent years. So if you wanted to use the Bears legitimate road uniforms, you had to do some mixing and matching. But what's even more intriguing is that when Madden 25 dropped in 2013, the Bears had their regular road uniforms again. The orange pants never returned. And when a video emerged in June 2012 of all the Nike uniforms in Madden 13, the Bears already had their orange pants. Yeah, we don't get it either. But it's not like EA Sports has exactly been committed to including what should be in an NFL simulation game over the years. Did you know Madden NFL 23 doesn't even have officials on the field during plays? Here on Legacy Library, these are the chapters in sports we're committed to exploring. If you have any forgotten or little known sports stories you believe we should cover, make sure to leave a comment or shoot us an email. You can find our email in the movie description. Thank you for watching, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and please stay tuned for more.